Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to another Monster High ranking video. Today we are going to be looking at all of the Katrine Demu dolls Monster High released in Gen 1 and Gen 2 and ranking them on my opinion. If you guys haven't seen this series before, I do a series on my channel where I rank different characters from Monster High and all of the different dolls that were released for that character. Again, it's just based on my own opinion. Today's video, like the one last week with Ari, is going to be a little bit shorter just because we are kind of getting towards the end of the series. Katrine, I think, has seven or eight different dolls, which is not many. So I am sorry if these shorter videos are like a little bit less fun, but I just felt like it still merited its own video because if I took every character that has seven dolls and put them into the big video with characters that got like one or two dolls, that is going to be literally like an hour long ranking. So instead of doing that, Katrine and a couple other characters like her are going to be getting their own videos. So yeah, that's just kind of where we're at. Um, but we are focusing, like I said, on Katrine Demu today. It should be a fun one. I don't actually own any Katrine dolls, but I do think that she is a beautifully designed character. So this should be like at least a fun little positive ranking compared to the last one that I did. But I have said a couple times, this is my opinion. So the disclaimer there is that if you disagree, that is totally fine. You are more than welcome to feel differently. And I would love to hear what your personal rankings would be in the comments down below. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. If you've never seen my ranking videos before, I do use Procreate to do my rankings and my tiers that I use are perfect, good, good, but not for me. That's one for dolls that I can objectively say have a good design, but I just don't personally like. Mediocre, bad, but it gets worse, and then burn it. So I do have a couple of different dolls on each layer here just because I organize this weird. But to start off, we are going with the dessert Katrine on the left, and then on the right, we have Fantastic Fitness. So starting off with dessert, bad place to start off. Um, I say this in a lot of ranking videos, so sorry if I'm repetitive, but Monster High did a few different sweets themed lines or dessert themed lines, and Sweet Screams was by far the best one, so every other one in comparison just looks that much worse. Like it's just, it's already not good, but when you compare it to what you know Monster High was capable of, it makes it so much worse. Uh, so Katrina is definitely suffering here. I hate that her headband, I don't, don't like the shape of it, first of all, but I hate that it's like a completely different color than the rest of her color scheme. It just looks really out of place and awful to me. I also don't like the pattern on her dress, okay? Because <laughs> it has the donuts, which makes sense, but then it also has paint palettes, and Katrine is an artist, so I get that for her, but I just don't think that it makes sense on the dessert-themed doll. I feel like there definitely could have been a better way to incorporate that. I don't know, I just, it feels very slapdash, very not thought out, and it makes me a little upset, so we're gonna go ahead and put this one and burn it. Like I said, terrible way to start a ranking, but there you are. Fantastic Fitness, though, is better. It was not my favorite line that Monster High produced, just because I'm not really an athletic type person, so it doesn't really cater to me, but at least compared to the dessert that we just saw, this is a better design. I do think the top is actually cute, even like aside from the line, I just think that that's cute. And I do appreciate the print on her shorts, the little cats doing yoga. That is so precious. Like that, <laughs> that is really cute. And I love the dedication. The weights are fine. Um, gosh, I honestly think I'm going to put this in good, but not for me, because I definitely don't like the doll enough to ever want to search for her or buy her, but I really appreciate the depth to what Monster High went with like the print on the shorts and the fact that the shirt was actually good. That was a pretty solid one. Okay, then we have the Ghoul Chat on the left and then on the right is Gloom and Bloom. So the Ghoul Chat was actually a two pack with Rochelle. We're just focusing on Caddy here and I think this is really cute. I love this cut of shirt. For her specifically, I just think that it really fits quite well. I don't love the bottom. I like it in the sense that the little cat heads is a cute print, but I just don't think I like how it mixes with the top half, if that makes sense. I also don't know what's happening with the shoe and the stock photo, why it's got like this hard cut down the middle. I feel like that had to have been an error, right? Like there's no way that that's <laughs> how it's supposed to be. But then it's weird for them to do a stock photo with a doll that's like all messed up. I don't know. Moving on from that, like I'm just gonna pretend that I don't really see that. I don't think that she's the most detailed or exciting, but I don't hate her either. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in mediocre. 
Gloom and Bloom, though, I think this is so pretty. The whole Gloom and Bloom line, honestly, was a really, really nice line. I love the darker purples for Caddy. I think that the way this is done gives her definitely a darker vibe than we sometimes get with her other dolls. Sometimes she has a very pastel look, and this is definitely... I almost want to say edgier, like a little bit edgier, a little bit darker, but I think it's done very well. It's still within her color scheme. It still feels like Caddy. The makeup on her, like the dark dramatic makeup looks so good. I love that. And then the whole dress, like it's just so pretty with the mesh and the ribbon belt and the dual layered skirt and then the shoes. This is a really, really good doll. I... I think I'm actually going to put her in perfect. I like this doll a lot. Like I said, the whole Gloom and Bloom line, really solid. And Caddy is no exception. Then on the top, I have three because why not make this more complicated for myself? So left to right, we have the new Scaremaster doll, the original release for... I have been saying Caddy. I have been saying Caddy, haven't I? I meant Katrine. That's definitely my bad. <laughs> I don't know where I got that mixed up. I don't know why I did that. Katrine, wow. Okay, so from left to right, we have Katrine, new Scaremaster, the original Katrine release, and then the Shriek Wrecked Katrine. I'm saying that so much because I need to get it in my head. I can't, I wonder how long I've been doing that. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, though, um, I want to end on a better note, so I think I'm actually going to start with the Shriek Wrecked one. I don't think that this is a terrible doll. I just don't think it's a good doll either. I like a lot of the Shriek Wreck line. I think that some of those are really, really excellent dolls, but I just don't feel like Caddy got the attention she deserved. The dress is very boring. The hat is fine, I guess. The shoes and the purse. I think I like the sculpting, but I don't like the colors they chose. And mostly I'm just really distracted by the dress because it's so boring and cut, and the print is really weird to me. I, don't, I think I'm going to put her in bath when it gets worse. Okay, we've almost got a caddy doll in every single tier. That's really funny to me. Uh, let's go to her original then. I love this doll. I used to desperately, desperately want this doll. And I almost bought her secondhand on numerous occasions because I missed out on the initial release of her. Now looking back, I still think she's very well designed. And I think she's a very pretty doll but I also don't think that I would buy her secondhand. Like if I could find her for retail price, like not even retail price realistically, like if I could find her $20 or under, I might buy her, but I'm not passionate about her anymore. I don't know if that says more about me or the doll. <laughs> that being said though, I do think this was a really strong initial release. I like the simple pattern on most of her dress. I think it works well for her. The colors are pretty. Her face is just so, so sweet. And I love the scarf. I feel like not tons of Monster High dolls got scarves. And I think that that's really nice. Also, her bag is so beautiful. Like, that's a gorgeous bag. So I think we're going to go ahead and fill the blank spot here. And we're going to put this doll in good. Lastly, new Scaremaster. I have no idea how I feel about this. I love the bow on her tail. I think that is insanely cute. The tiny little necktie. That's also adorable. Honestly, like, the more I stare at her, the more I think I like this doll. The only thing that is throwing me off is the really intense pink that they have striped in her hair. I think that throws off the color scheme because you don't see that intense pink anywhere else on this doll. But I think if that were a pastel pink, this doll would be perfect for me because she's so pretty. I love the trim on her shirt and her skirt. The colors work really well. The black, surprisingly, looks really, really good. Some other pastel dolls, like Abby... When Abby has black in her design, I don't like it as much because I prefer her to just be straight pastel. But it with Katrine, it really works. The shoes are so pretty. You know what? Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and put her in perfect also because honestly, one little stripe of hair should not prevent her from going in perfect if the rest is so well designed. So that is going to be the ranking. What an even spread. Like that's so... <laughs> That's so funny to me, especially compared to last week with Ari Huntington where everything was on the bottom. This is so funny that there's literally a Katrine in every category. And I didn't do that on purpose. Like, I don't make that a goal. I just rank them. But it's interesting that, at least in my opinion, Katrine had a really even spread in terms of how good or bad her dolls were. But she does have two in perfect. So 
she edges out, you know, more good than bad, I guess, there. But yeah, that's going to be my ranking for Katrine. So yes, definitely a shorter video. Like I said in the beginning, I am sorry if that is less exciting to you, but we're going to have a couple more short videos. I think I have, I have Howleen, Rebecca, Caddy, actually Caddy, not Katrine, <laughs> and then Gina Fire. So I have four more videos, I think, that I have to do like a separate video for, and then we're going to get into the conglomerate videos. I'm going to do one for the other ghouls, and then one video for all of the monsters, because most of the male dolls didn't really get that many releases, so they're going to get their own little mashup video. <laughs> but yeah, so we are kind of wrapping up here. I do hope that despite the length of this video, you were able to enjoy it. And again, I would love to hear your opinions in the comments down below. If you did like the video, if you could like and subscribe, that would be awesome. And if you really want to support me, you could check out my other platforms. I have an Instagram and then a Ko-Fi, coffee. I can never pronounce it right, but it's like a Patreon. So if you wanted to support me there, that would also be very much appreciated. But hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.